Good afternoon and welcome to the grand final of the Odeon Limitless Movie Mind. My name is John Humphreys and I'm here at perhaps Britain's most famous cinema, the Odeon Leicester Square, to ask questions of four of the nation's top film fans, each one of whom wants to be crowned the Odeon Limitless Movie Mind champion. So let's go. The rules are very, very simple indeed. The contenders get 90 seconds of questions. No more, no less. Let us ask our first contender to join us, please. I can't wait for it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a great day so far and uh, it'd be cool to see what the questions are, you know, kind of find out how much I know. And your name is? Aidan Lorgie. And you're from? Belfast. Here we go. 90 seconds of questions starting now. Which heartwarming film won the Best Picture Oscar in the year Dakota Fanning was born? Pass. Whose stories were adapted for the films The Running Man and The Shawshank Redemption? I thought Kinnick. Stephen King. Which humans played the voices of Mr. Fox and Clive Banger in Fantastic Mr. Fox? Uh, George Clooney. Yes, and Bill Murray. What is the name of Dr. Doolittle's parrot? Pass. Who was the flat-capped clown who regularly played a man called Pitkin? Pass. Which Coen Brothers movie was influenced by events in the life of Dave Von Ronk? Uh, Inside Llewellyn Davis. Yes. Which film has the longer opening tracking shot, Orson Welles' Touch of Evil or Robert Altman's The Player? The Player. Yes. Who plays the role of Luther Stickel in the Mission Impossible film series? Uh, Ving Rhames. Yes. What's the name of the director behind the films High Rise, The Kill List and A Field in England? Ben Whitley. Is correct. Which sitcom have George Clooney, John Favreau, Ben Stiller and Robin Williams all appeared on? ER. Friends. Which Alex Cox cult classic stars Harry Dean Stanton and Emilio Estevez? Repo Man. Yes. What links Ian McKellen, Robert Downey Jr. and Peter Cushing? Uh, Hammer movies? No, they've all played Sherlock Holmes. Which blockbuster franchise is based on the novels of Susan Collins? Uh, Hunger Games. Yes. Which Marvel character starred in a self-titled box office bomb in 1986 and had a brief cameo in Gardens of the Galaxy in 2014? Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is correct. Your time is up and you have scored eight points. <laughs> it's been fantastic, yeah. Had a good couple of hours. Met John Humphreys, uh, met the other competitors. I wish them all luck. Um, looking forward to the questions now and just getting, getting on with it. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Steve Wally. Where are you from? Newcastle. You have eight points to beat. Here we go, 90 seconds of questions starting now. Which black comedy won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film at the 2015 Academy Awards? Pass. In Inglorious Bastards, the film director L. Roth plays Donny Donovitz. How is the character better known? Beju. Yeah. What was the 2014 film The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, originally to be subtitled? They're back again. Yeah. Which film ends with the line, I'm not even going to swap that fly. I hope they're watching. They'll see, they'll see, and they'll know, and they'll say why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Pass. Which film was strongly rumoured to have a cameo by super reclusive novelist Thomas Pynchon? Pass. Who is the hugely talented comic book writer behind Kingsman, The Secret Service, and Wanted? Mark Miller. Correct. Who directed Punch Drunk Love? P.T. Anderson. Yep. In which film series does Basil Exposition appear? Austin Powers. Yep. Which film director wrote and illustrated the book The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories? Tim Burton. Yep. What do Jeremy Irons, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy and Nicolas Cage all know about doubling up? Pass. Which film follows the debauched life of Jordan Belfort? Wolf of Wall Street. Yep. Who has won more Best Director Oscars than anyone else? Pass. In Richard Donner's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick plays a rogue nicknamed the Mouse, but what is the character's real name? Pass. Which celebrated designer directed the title sequences for North by Northwest, Goodfellas and Big? Saul Bass. Saul Bass is correct. Your time is up, of course. You have scored eight points. <laughs> Are you feeling confident? I, I don't know if I'd go that far, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not too worried at the moment. So. 
And our third contender, please. <laughs> Welcome, and your name is? Emma Daly. You are from? Birmingham. So, Emma, two scores so far, both eight points. So, let's see if you can beat that. Those 90 seconds start now. Who are Tars, Case and Kip? Pass. Which film is listed in the 2006 Guinness Book of Record as the first all-digital capture film? Pass. In Star Wars The Force Awakens, which famous actor had a cameo as a stormtrooper? Daniel Craig. Correct. In what year was Space Chimps 2 Zartog Strikes Back released? Uh, 98. 2010. Which 80s teen star was late at the Guardian newspaper's agony aunt? Pass. Who was partnered with Americ Pressburger to create a string of classic films? Pass. What was Spencer Tracy's last film? Pass. Who plays Rocky the Rhode Island Red in the Ardman film Chicken Run? Mel Gibson. Correct. What is the name of the search engine that gave Nathan his fame and fortune in Ex Machina? Pass. Which bleak 2010 film is considered to be Jennifer Lawrence's breakthrough film? Winter's Bone. Correct. Name the only Fast and Furious film in which Vin Diesel does not appear. Uh, Tokyo Drift. Too Fast and Too Furious. Which one of the following won the Oscar for Best Picture in 2000? American Beauty, Gladiator and Beautiful Mind. Uh, Gladiator. Yes. What event of the 2016 Oscars was the most tweeted in the awards history? Um, the selfie. No, Leonardo DiCaprio's win. Who stars as Malin Eatonton in Steel Magnolias? Uh, Daryl Hannah. Sally Field. Which group did legendary British director Lindsay Anderson film on their Chinese tour in 1985? Pass. Well, I can tell you because your time is up. It was wham. You have scored, I'm afraid to say, Emma, four points. Oh. Nice try. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. What sort of preparation have you had? Uh, oh, just the usual. Flicking through all the trivia books and what have you, you know. Um, internet. You know, little trivia games. So, everything to play for. Let's have our final contender, please. And your name is? Nigel Thomas. And you come from? Salford. It's pretty close. We have two scores of eight points. No pressure. <laughs> Not much. Not much. <laughs> Some questions starting now, in which Stanley Kubrick film does Peter Sellers' character disguise himself as German psychologist Dr. Zemp? Dr. Strangelove. Lolita. Suspira is the first part of Dario Argento's Three Mothers trilogy. Name the other two parts. Pass. Which legendary director hired Jean-Paul Sartre to write a screenplay about Sigmund Freud in 1958? Stanley Kubrick. John Huston. Which film does the following TCM listing describe? Transported to a surreal landscape, a young girl kills the first person she meets and then teams up with three strangers to kill again. Wizard of Oz. Yep. How many Oscar nominations did the original Star Wars receive? Three. Ten. How many children did Charlie Chaplin have? Two. Eleven. In what? which year were Taxi Driver Rocky, All the President's Men and The Omen released? 1978. 76. Which epic biography did Stanley Kubrick meticulously plan and then shelve? Pass. True or false, Arnold Schwarzenegger reprises his role as Conan in the film Red Sonja. False. Correct, he plays Lord Kalidor. Who directed the 2015 film Steve Jobs? Pass. Which future Cheers and Pixar star played a rebel officer on Hoff in The Empire Strikes Back? Pass. Who directed Mystery Train Dead Man and Coffee and Cigarettes? Jim Jarmusch. Correct. Which Arnold Schwarzenegger movie did French comedy La Totale become when it was adapted by Hollywood? Pass. Well, I'll tell you, because we're out of time. True Lies is the answer to that. I'm afraid you didn't do it. You managed to get three points, but they were tough questions. This is a tough business. Anyway, a good try. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. We have a tie break. How exciting is that? And the way it's going to work is that Aidan and Steve will get just one question. The answer is a number. And the person who gets closer to that number is going to be the winner. Here we go. Walt Disney has won more Oscars than anyone else. How many competitive Oscars did he win? Thirteen. Twelve. 
12. There was one mark in it. The correct answer was 22. Therefore, Steve, you did it by one point. <laughs> and you are the Movie Mind champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and that's it from us, from all of us here in the Odeon Leicester Square, to all of you watching, to all of those who've taken part in this terrific contest. Thanks all very much indeed for watching. Goodbye. Fantastic.